This video is on Lviv and Company Inverter slash UPS according to company it is 12 VDC to 220 VAC pure sine wave 1000 slash 2000 watt inverter. It's all models are easily available at Amazon Lazada slash Deraz etc. I purchase it online for my home and travel use, so before regular use I prefer to do its testing so that it is clear the company mentioned features are true or false and its reliability. Let's start. First we are doing quick unboxing. So here is our inverter. Box contains User Manual Pure Sine Wave Inverter Car Cigarette Lighter Cord And one pair heavy gauge half meter copper wire with alligator clamps I will now connect the inverter to battery and put some load to check it is working or not. I have carefully make the connection of inverter with battery. Inverter must be switch off when making connection to the battery. I have a 60 watt iron soldering which I use as a load for checking purpose. You can see inverter is working fine. Amp meter is showing 4 amperes. I have disconnect the load and check it's no load consumption. It's 700 to 800 milliamps. It's time to tear down and find out the build quality of the inverter.
I have finally opened the inverter. I am opening the inverter for checking purposes. Under the complete knowledge. Inverters can have 350 to 400 volts inside it which can cause serious shock to human body. So be careful while doing this. This is the inside view of the inverter. As we can see there are a lot of components in the inverter. It have only one step up transformer which is not good but fine. Build quality is average. But we can see its construction is different from the modified sine wave inverter. It seems to be complex circuit. It have a pure sine wave module circuit board mounted on the main board. That's the sign of the pure sine wave inverter. Large inductor is also on the circuit board. But there are some things missing in it like I am not seeing any protection circuit anywhere in the inverter. Which is not good. And there is only one transformer. Which look not enough for a 1000 slash 2000 watt inverter. So I am only consider this inverter a 500 slash 1000 watt pure sine wave inverter. Later in this video I will put heavy load on this inverter and then check the performance. This inverter is divided into two parts. First DC and second AC. On DC side it have 350 amp fuses and 6 MIS phase and then transformer following two 450 VDC capacitors. Then on AC side there are four big FETs for switching or conversion DC into AC controlled by pure sine wave module circuit. In the last one big inductor with some capacitors and IC circuits for filtration purpose. In the end the 220 VAC socket. Now I will reassemble the inverter and do the final heavy load testing as I said. I have set the inverter for heavy load testing. This is my 650 watt solar power setup. Little messy this time but I will set this later. First I will do the testing. For heavy load testing I am first using 350 watt drill machine. These kind of load take maximum rated power at their starting and after that power consumption drop to normal. I will run it on its maximum 4500 rpm speed. I am using amp meter to measure its current consumption. On maximum speed it takes 16 to 17 amps DC. As you see inverter works fine when it run drill machine. Now I am going to put more load on this inverter. 
For this I have connected many appliances to this inverter. I have used the 8 socket power extension and connected its main plug to inverter. I have plug it in multiple plugs belongs to different appliances which will increase the load on the inverter. It will also increase the risk. I am going to run 110 watt PC setup. 350 watt drill machine. 5 asterisk 12 watts LED bulbs with 50 watt flood light which is around 110 watts. 50 watt LED TV setup. 30 watt mobile charging. These all appliances equal 650 watts in total. I have connected all the things with inverter. Now ampere meter will show the power consumption on its display. All the things are running at this time. I have noticed when I start the drill machine amps reach to 38 to 39 amps and then it come back to 30 to 32 amp constant. I will leave the load running for some time to check the inverter performance. It's now few minutes past for the running load. It is relief for me that inverter is performing well. I am now checking the inverter. I am checking either the inverter is heating or not. It is good that I do not fail the inverter is heating. Even on this load inverter fan is also not on. So I came to this inverter is working fine. One thing I did not sure of its pure sine wave form quality. Because I did not have oscilloscope. I wish I would have one day. Rather than this inverter is fine. Now I have set my inverter to its proper place. Now inverter is connected with complete circuit. Which involves solar panels, MPPT solar charge controller, 12 volt battery. 63 amps DC circuit breakers and the inverter itself. I have cleaned the mess off camera. It looks little fine. Now one thing was left. I did not check the voltage of the inverter. I set my multimeter to AC voltmeter range and inserted its props to the output of the inverter. It is showing 225 volts AC which is fine. So that's it for now. I will make another video if I feel a need to share more about the inverter. Thank you, stay safe. Thanks for watching. I hope you get some knowledge from this video about Levuin inverter and pure sine wave inverters. Please share this video subscribe the channel and give a like to this video. Thank you.